Let's welcome in the winning pitcher for the Diamondbacks in game six, Merrill Kelly. And Merrill, you just saw it there, but let's not bury the lead. We went to high school together. I didn't even realize what? it until last year at the World Series when we got a chance to catch up. Here is the photo proof. I want to know oh, what geez. you remember about this photo. <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys are doing me dirty already. Weeds. Yeah, hey. absolutely. Look at that hair. That's show hair right there. Yeah, that's uh, that's young Merrill right there. That's little delinquent Merrill back in high school. Oh, it's got you some think Tony you... Hawk in it? <laughs> okay, you think you were a delinquent? You think you were del... uh, just so you don't up. feel alone? Here's my yearbook photo. Oh, oh my! <laughs> that's why I didn't recognize you. You're Deb. a different that's person. Amazing. <laughs> wow, oh. that's wild. <laughs> Hey, I'm ask you about that hair. Before we get we, on the baseball, had a, we, we, we both had a glow up. Here. Yeah, we, we need to know what kind of stuff Sierra was doing in high school. You got to let us know. He didn't know. Yeah, I honestly didn't know. Stories. I didn't know we went to the same high school. No, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know we even went to the same high school until the World Series last year. <laughs> Merle, let me just tell you something, though. I, I do want to say I want to congratulate you and Sierra because you can tell you can't hide money. You guys both look amazing because, you you know, I had, a, I had a funny thing back with Orlando Cabrera, Big Poppy. You might not be good looking, but he gave me the money sign. He said, but I'm handsome. You and Sierra look amazing right now from those from those pictures back in the day. And Sierra, I'm being honest. You do. You look amazing now. I, I don't know if we would have, you know, dated back in high school, you and I. And I, and I want to show you my high school picture because I, I was not good. I think we need to see yeah, that. Like I think he's calling peach, both of us know? out. Yeah, I think we, we need to see those? that. Do we have it? Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't have it. But we I'm going to show you this somewhere picture. In there. Since we're showing oh, photos, I, I, I'll get it maybe by the end of the show. I'll have to find one. But how about this picture yeah. we got of you, Merrill, since we're showing old photos? What yep, we got? it's coming. That's a really good one. Right that's now. a it's real one. one. Oh. This one hey. right here. Yeah. That's how baby Merrill. Sweet. Who was your favorite Baby player Merrill. growing up? Uh, so I was actually a Houston Astros fan growing up. Um, we went to Phillies camp because we lived out here. My brother uh, obviously became a huge Phillies fan. Uh, but my team was the was the Astros. I loved the Killer Bees. I wore seven because of Craig Biggio. So I'd probably have to say Biggio when I was a kid. Yeah. Sierra. Sierra. Okay, so that's what you looked like as a kid, but. Uh, how about what you look like now? The internet says you look like Chris Elliott from Schitt's <laughs> Creek. And there's something about Mary. How often have you gotten this? Uh, I've gotten it from day one that I signed the Diamondbacks contract. Uh, that, I feel like that was half the tweets when I signed my original <laughs> deal back in 2019. Um, I got a funny story about that, actually. Uh, I went and played golf with Eric Kinski out uh, at a place called Estancia out in Scottsdale. Love him. Love him. Uh, it's, yeah, Hinsky's the man. Um, but I pull up to the gate. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Just probably woke up maybe half an hour ago. I pull up to the gate, and the security guard, I roll down the window, and without missing a beat, um, just looks at me and right away goes, oh, Woogie. And anybody who's familiar with something about Mary. Yeah, I was like, man, good morning to you too, sir. Let's, can I at least get a cup of coffee before you start throwing Don Woganowski at me? Oh, my goodness gracious. So good. So good. <laughs> hey, hey, Merrill, I want to switch gears because I just want to talk about, you know, your performance last night. And, like, you know, you've had this amazing journey where you get drafted, you go over to Korea, you play over there, you come back. You start in the WBC for Team USA, and now you get to start game six and put your team within one win of the World Series. What did that mean last night, and what was that like in there, the environment that you were pitching in? Because you did such a great job, man. Yeah, it's honestly been kind of a whirlwind. Um, I've said it this whole process, but if you would have asked me if I'd be standing here talking to you guys on this field after game six, um, you know, five years ago, my last year in Korea, I, I probably would have told you you were nuts. Um, I always had the confidence in myself to, to get here, but I mean, you know, you guys have, have played before. There were probably points in your career where it kind of seemed like anything and everything was literally miles away. Um, and that's kind of how I felt there for a little while. But I'm just enjoying the ride. Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm very humbled to be here. Uh, I'm glad that the Diamondbacks have given me so much, um, you know, so much confidence over the last couple of years. But I'm just trying to kind of take everything in and just enjoy it when I can. You never know when you're going to be here again.
factor for you? No doubt about it. I love everything you just said. Appreciate every moment. It goes by so fast, and, it, and it's a blessing to be there. And that's why a lot of people are pulling for you and fans of you. I do want to get back to your Hinsky golf round because I didn't get a chance to get back to that. You know, enough okay. baseball talk. That was a wonderful story last night. We have game seven. I want to know, what's your handicap? And did you and Hinsky <laughs> gamble and who won? Uh, I can't remember who won that day. Uh, it was a long day. But uh, I think the index, if I had to look at my app that I that keep my track on, I think the index is probably sitting at a one and a half, something like that right now. What? Okay, Good so who's Lord. the best golfer on your Whoa. team? Like, you got to have a little boys club, and there's got to be a couple dudes. Who, who's that guy? Yeah, we got he a good is. group, He's honestly. a one and a half. On a, uh, Besides That's him, just Ryan. what the app says. That's just what the app says, you know. Uh, <laughs> we got a good group of golfers, honestly. We got a lot of guys out there on days off. Um, I would probably say when Carson Kelly was here, I'll say this. When Carson Kelly was here, I think he held the title. Uh, if Carson could putt, he'd be shooting in the mid to low 60s probably every time out. Wow. Well, right now, I would say right now, I would say there's a good mix between me, uh, Joe Mantiply, Paul Seawald uh, are the guys that kind of come to my mind and Tommy Henry. Yeah. Tommy Henry's a stick, too. Now you got now you got some golfing buddies, Kev. No doubt. With yeah, Ry Ry and I, we're going to have a great fivesome. Yes. I'll drive the cart. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yes. Cool. Uh, we'll, drive the we'll go to Estancia, right down the street from Desert Mountain. Let's go. Let's go. Let's That's do it. Right. Let's hop, skip, and jump away. By the way, Merrill, yeah. when are we going to see this dance move again? Which one's that? The Sea Walk? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, uh. I don't know. Maybe if we win the World Series. I might reserve it for uh, if we make it past tonight and win the World Series. Maybe I'll bust it up again. Okay, because I was, was going to ask uh, you to do it again right now, but I, I understand you reserve that for very <laughs> special moments. Yeah, those things only came out when uh, there might have been some tequila involved in that dance uh, in that cup. But, uh, yeah, that was back. That was uh, young high school, Merrill. That kind of picture that you showed earlier. Uh, me and my friends thought we were okay. really cool wearing tall tees, and, and I spent hours on YouTube uh, figuring out how to sea walk, and eventually I figured it out. Well, That's you amazing. And Speaking of special moments, well, I do have a prom picture, Sarah. I was going to show you. I found a high school picture finally that you guys can make fun because that was the, <laughs> the, the, the fake vanilla ice guy. Uh, yeah, the frosted tips were king back in the day, huh? Yes. Throwing yes. out the blue steel, And they were expensive. <laughs> yeah, I never, I'm glad I never went down that trend road. Uh, Kevin, though, can, you can, Kevin can see walk, though. Uh, it's basically like that. a moonwalk, but a little bit. Of, it's a little sea walk, moonwalkish, but yeah. And I always let everybody know it's not ice down there. It's usually carpet or concrete or grass on the bloody <laughs> green. Or the yeah. So it's it, that's we'll his do good that. party you trick. He does that all the time. Everybody's got a party trick. That's right. <laughs> you can do it, Kev. You can slide. It's a little slide walk. I love it. Yeah. It's good. Well, maybe it's if good. we win the World Series, we can do, we can do it together. We'll be out in the field. That's it. Absolutely. Yes. Before we let you go, Merrill, one last thing. It is time for Secret Santos. This is part of the show where you give us a secret about yourself that nobody else knows. Wow. Sierra was your first nobody kiss else in knows. high school? Was she your first you kiss? keep on pushing this. <laughs> Did you guys kiss at all in high school? Maybe that's a secret. Well, no. Like I said, we didn't even know we were there at the same time. I learned this See? knowledge Too last year tequila. at the World Series. We, uh, <laughs> Too yeah, much maybe. tequila. <laughs> uh, it was more uh, probably some 40s back in the day. Tequila's been a yeah. little bit of a graduate Oldie, uh, situation. Oldie, Mickey's. Yeah. Yeah. Something, Devin Williams. Steel yeah, Devin Williams. Junior tequila college or something in high school. Like that. That's for sure. Uh, maybe something you guys don't know. Uh, probably either I moved around a lot when I was a kid. I went Houston, Austin, Philly, Chicago, and then Scottsdale all before high school. Um, wow. And uh, in my free time, other than golfing, I like to play the drums. Oh, right on. There we go. The drums? One and two and three and yeah. four and yep. one and two and three yeah, and four like and one and two. And yeah. Did what, you kind know? Of, what kind of music are you drumming? Uh, really, anything. I just kind of throw my headphones on it. I haven't done it in a while. My parents uh, sold their house, and my, my drum set's been sitting in storage. Uh, we're building a new house in Scottsdale right now, so I'm looking forward to setting things back up once we get in there. That's Very awesome. Nice. Did you know that Tori plays the drum? Or Sorry, Tori plays piano? I actually did not know that. I'm going to have to go ask him about that. You guys can start that a band. There's got to be some... Uh, Look at that. You're halfway to a band. All you need is a singer and a guitar player, and you're good to go. 
Yeah, I got to ask him if there's any video evidence of maybe young Tory's recitals back in the day. <laughs>